and said the case is now, quote, resolved. But the U.S. attorney, uh, David Weiss, appointed by Trump, says it's ongoing. So clear that up for us. How does that make sense? In any plea deal like this, it is absolutely the understanding between both parties that this is it, that there will not be further charges based on what DOJ knows now. I suspect when we see the paperwork, it will say something to that effect. So why is DOJ saying it's ongoing? Because DOJ always says that until the jury comes back, until the appeal is over, because you never know if something new could pop up. But that's sort of general, very commonplace DOJ language. I do not expect there to be additional charges. All right. I I am just asking this question. There is no evidence that he intends to do this. But could President Biden, if he wanted to, pardon Hunter? Uh, And is there any precedent for such an action? So absolutely. The president, Joe Biden, has authority to pardon Hunter Biden uh, or anyone else, really. Uh, Of course, I don't expect that that's likely to happen certainly before the election. There is precedent for this, actually, Jake. Bill Clinton famously or infamously pardoned his half-brother, Roger Clinton, on his final day in office. Roger Clinton, years before, had been convicted uh, of a drug offense. And depending on how broadly you want to define family, Donald Trump, on his last day in office, pardoned Charles Kushner, who was the father of Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. So there is precedent for presidents to pardon family members or sort of more distant family members. Yeah. And the U.S. attorney who went after Charles Kushner? Chris Chris Christie. Christie, You got it. As you know, Ellie Honeg. Thank you so much. (laughs) Let's get the latest from both ends of Pennsylvania Avenue now. CNN's Manu Raj is on Capitol Hill. CNN's Jeremy Diamond is at the White House. Manu, you just caught up with some senior members uh, of the Republican Party. Uh, What did they have to say? Yeah, House Oversight Chairman James Comer just told me moments ago that the, that is one of the big questions that he has is what does it mean when the Justice Department's on investigation is ongoing because he's trying to seek a number of records into this case. Now, he also is indicating that House Republicans plan to call the, the U.S. attorney in this case, David Weiss. There's some discussion ongoing about bringing him in to testify. And he also downplayed the notion that it, this was, in fact, a Trump-backed attorney who is held over for, into the Biden administration that led led this effort into Hunter Biden. Now, when I spoke, caught up with Speaker McCarthy earlier today, he tried to compare the Hunter Biden case with the case involving former President Donald Trump, even though the two cases are much different and the facts are different as well. David Weiss is the Trump plan attorney. Do you not have confidence in him? No, the, the, the question I have, you want equal justice in America. Mm-hmm. It just seems to me that if you are the leading opponent of the president, you're going to get jail time. But if you're the son of the president, you don't get any jail time. See, there's two separate cases. Yeah, but I'm, I'm Why kidding. conflate them? I'm not conflating them. But they're alleging so he lied you, to investigators. You, that's you, that's you the issue. You handle it different. Well, did did Hunter Biden lie about his taxes? Did Hunter, lie, Hunter Biden lie about the gun? Well, I don't know. He pleaded guilty to the okay. situation, well, to those cat tax situations. Well, there's no, there's no time for him to serve. Remember, this will be no prison time, but they're trying to put President Trump in prison. That's what there are different about. cases. There are different you facts. Talk about equal, equal justice here, and that's the problem most Americans have. Uh, Speaker McCarthy also said today that he believes the result of this plea deal will, quote, enhance the House GOP investigation into Hunter Biden and to Joe Biden, trying to link the two, trying to link business deals that happen overseas with the White House directly and with Joe Biden's actions as vice president. The question will be, what will happen if the Justice Department does not provide those records that they are now going to be seeking in the aftermath of this plea deal? So, Comer indicating to me moments ago he has not made a decision whether to subpoena for those records, but they do plan to at least potentially call for that U.S. attorney to come testify before one of the House committees, Jay. U.S. attorney appointed by Donald Trump and Joe Biden kept him in office because of the obvious conflict of interest because he was investigating his son. I saw Speaker McCarthy didn't address that part of your question there, Manu. Yeah. Um, Jeremy, this short statement from the White House today is really emblematic of how President Biden has handled the controversy uh, around Hunter. Yeah, that's right, Jake. President Biden really hasn't sought to distance himself from his son publicly at all. In fact, he's done quite the opposite, really embracing him. We have seen Hunter Biden at the president's side at public events uh, repeatedly, most notably uh, perhaps in April when uh, Hunter Biden joined the president on his trip to Ireland. He was a near constant presence at the president's side. And so it's no surprise when we see this statement from the White House uh, focusing on the fact that the president and the first lady love their son uh, and ultimately saying that other than that, they have no further comment. We know that the president and the first lady in talking about this previously, as uh, the president did to you, Jake, talking about uh, the fact that they're proud of their son 
for overcoming his struggles with addiction. The president recently said in an interview that he didn't believe that his son has done anything wrong. Of course, Hunter Biden in this guilty plea is indeed admitting to wrongdoing. But uh, look, this is not something that ultimately came as a total surprise to the White House. And that's because I'm told that the White House and the president's personal attorney, Bob Bauer, they have kept an open line of communication with Hunter Biden's attorneys throughout this process. Uh, and that that is a line of communication. That Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.